welcome to another AV Jam with me and her. This time it's going to be weird saying that. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? What's all the finger things? I'm pointing at people on my screen. All oh, right, Buzzy, because we can all see your screen, so we know what you're doing. Anyway, we are going to talk about a new product, but before we do, have a little look see at this, a bit of an unboxing. Open the box for the first time, genuinely. Okay. Ooh. So in here, some kind of quick start. I'm a man, I ignore that. Let's have a look at the unit. This is what Polly are doing right at the minute. It's almost Scandinavian quality design. Let's do a test of this baby. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive, um, this is the team's replay that we're going to test. Let's do a test of this baby. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Okay, we've bought the Teams model here. Red button. Yeah, as you can see, it's green. Not ending the call. The Teams button. Not ending the call. Okay. I've unboxed it. Um, plugging in, it works straight away. Programming that rocket button, don't know. Getting that Teams button to do anything, don't know. I'm pretty sure Kevin put me right on that when we do the actual testing a call. Until then. Ta-ta for now. Okay, so let's test, I suppose, the things that Jace couldn't use because, well, what he didn't do was just read the manual, I suppose, that told you exactly what you needed to do. So we have a rocket button now. The rocket button has six options, I believe. I think mine's set to play and resume uh, music. There you go. Uh, the Teams button, which is a shade of purple. That I'm sure it isn't the Teams purple, but it's a shade of purple. As you can see, the open Teams in a nice blurry way, because you don't want to see what Jace was actually saying to me there. And the names he called me. Atrocious. Um, in a call, the hang-up button works. Volume up and down, mute. Works a treat. Uh, looks beautiful as well, actually. So yeah. so yeah, just Jace's fault, really. Plug it in, work to treat. Software was running. The software chooses what you can use. As I said, it tells you all in the little book. Result. You've seen the unboxing. You've seen the product. I was going to hold it up and show you, but I can't because it's wired into me uh, PC. But we've got a sink. We've all got a sink. We've, we've got all got a plug. We're all we've using all it now. Got. PolySync 20 with Teams functionality, haven't we? Yeah, we do need to talk about that. Because we waited longer to have Teams functionality. And that was worth the wait, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing it this way, are we? Let, let's, let's start with that. Should we start with the unboxing, actually, and you getting the system up and running? Actually... What I didn't see, and it'd be nice for us to know, you saw me and Jace, well, you saw Jace attempt, and then you saw what I did. Amy, what happened with yours? Did yours go smooth? Was it a simple install? Yeah, to be fair, it, it is pretty self-explanatory. It is literally just plug it in. Um, yeah, I really like how it looks, to be fair. I like, um, think it looks good. Um, the thing I don't kind of get is what the buttons do. And I feel like there's not much explanation for it because there's a Teams button, right? If I click it, Teams comes up. So it kind of works in that sense. But then Dave's rang me before and I couldn't answer the Teams call on my sink. I had to just click it like I would with my mouse usually. So I was a little bit... Because the phone was flashing when it was ringing, so I assumed that I could click the phone. So it was ringing, and I was clicking the phone, and then I clicked the Teams button as well, and nothing happened. So I am proves my point, right? You plug it in, plug and play, 
plug and play just a little bit and then really I don't know I've got a rocket button that don't do much I do now know what the rocket button does and the team's button is basically reopen the app which I can click there um, and yeah. that's it it's kind of pointless to open the app if then you've got to hold your mouse to control the app because you may as well just have clicked on the app on like your laptop anyway <laughs> And my end kill call and start call doesn't work. Oh, no, my God. So we're going straight in with what we're not having here. <laughs> <laughs> my mute phone. My mute button works and it tells teams I'm muted. That bit was good. Are, are they going to improve this this Teams interfacey thing? Because it's a bit pants at the minute. Yeah, so for those that don't know, on the device, the ones we chose was a Teams button, and it's a shade of purple, as you saw from the unboxing. Now, that button right now, if you've got the app minimized, it reopens the, the app. Now, it opens it to the chat window. There you go. It doesn't open it to, say, the in-call that you're looking at. It just opens the main body of Teams, the chat window, the uh, the. the Teams channel window. They've said for so long now that more and more features are going to come. It's kind of in conjunction with Microsoft. When things come, I'll be honest, I don't know. Right now, it does. Right now, it does very little other than open Teams. Now, I'm kind of with you guys. I sit and live with my hands on my mouse and keyboard or on a Rubik's Cube normally. But why do I then want to move to that to press the team button when I can just do alt and tap on my keyboard or move my mouse and it's already there? So I'm with you, it doesn't do much, really, if anything. Why can't but, I even answer a call, then? So you've got the, the phone icon that flashes on the right-hand side. That does answer the call, and I'll get into that. That does answer the call. However, the bit with that that winds me up is it only answers it in audio. I've then got to start my camera, which kind of then defeats the object. Like it hangs up absolutely fine, but when it answers the call, it's audio only as though it's meant to be for an, an audio pickup. I want it to invoke camera first. Now, whereas yours said it didn't work and mine does, there's a couple of quirks with this. Plug and play, it is absolutely right. If you want to plug a device in, use it as a speakerphone and go, plug and play works a treat. If you want to make the hang up button do what you want the hang up button to do, which is hang up a call or answer a call, if you want the rocket to be a rocket, we'll get into that as well, you actually need to have the Plantronics hub software running to do so. Or you can centrally manage it. I, because I prick about with things all the time, already had the software. So when you saw my unboxing, I had the software running, I've done a firmware update, I'd tweak my settings, and mine worked A2. That argument then says, is it really plug and play? You've got all these features, but I can only use three of the six buttons if I don't have the software. Not really plug and play. And, and I've actually, since then, since you put me right, having watched your video, used the Plantronics Hub to make some changes. Um, and my God, my my Spectrum games loaded quicker than that. The software does run. <laughs> I will give it that. I don't understand why, but I thought it might have been me. But if yours is doing the same, I don't know why. <laughs> the other one I want to get into before we get into it, the other things and the, the 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 product itself or the capabilities is the rocket button. <laughs> <laughs> And I get what they're trying to do, but I think they may be flying high, get that? Flying high, making it a rocket. Right now, yeah, the rocket should more has... be an emoji, really, shouldn't it? Because <laughs> rockets are a bit, a bit ambitious for play and pause, really, isn't it? <laughs> there are six options. If you've got the Plantronics Hub app running, there are six different options as what you can do. One of them is just to clear the Bluetooth pairing. So I'm, I'd, I'd never use that, that preference. I use play and pause. But I don't use play and pause because actually Windows, if I get a call come in, Windows pauses itself anyway. So I don't even need to press the play and pause button. But mine does play and pause. There are six different options. I can't remember them all off the top of my head. Uh, but there is one was put the call on hold, play and pause. There was clear Bluetooth pairing. And then there's a couple of others. But I don't know what I wanted the button to do. 
but it doesn't do anything of what I wanted it to do. If that makes sense. <laughs> I have no idea what I want a rocket button to do, but it weren't any of them six, if that makes sense. <laughs> but again, more and more features, as we've been told, are, are going to come to that. This is this is the first time a rocket button has appeared on a poly device. We've already got six options, version one. What could happen, version three, four, five? Yeah. I don't know saved it. <laughs> I d I d since you've said that, I do like the idea of clear Bluetooth because I just connected it to Bluetooth to test the music, and we'll come, come on to that now. Um, and I, I will press that clear Bluetooth option because it's okay. <laughs> okay. So I'll be honest, I've not tested it as a Bluetooth permit. Mine have been hardwired into my PC, and that is it. So I suppose then uh, I'm going to let Amy fly with this. Listening to music, because you yeah, come so up with um, a cracking analogy. <laughs> yeah, so I think certainly some songs more than others, it's quite muffled, the music. And um, I said this before, that it sounds like you're stood outside a night at a club listening to the music inside. That kind of just like muffled music kind of sound. Um, so yeah, I want it's sort of nice to be able to play music through it, but I would never like use it as like a dedicated music speaker. Which is a, a perfect answer, because I know Jace exactly the same with what you've got behind you. You'd never switch from that. Yeah, when, when we used to have hotel rooms, and remember those? I um, have a dedicated, I have a, U, a Bluetooth speaker in my bag for listening to music rather than watching TV in the morning and getting all the bad news and stuff. I wouldn't use this as my over and above my bows, for example, um, for, for my morning music fix in my hotel room. That's really interesting because I've never compared it with them. I compared it to, and we've got a couple of side by sides I'll do for you in a sec. I, mine was always the Vox Box, and I used to love doing that. Now, I would, I'll be honest, this um, Sync 20 for me, one of the obvious ones is in the summer, we'll like to sit out in the garden. I'll gladly play music through that, but at the same time, I play music because I want to listen to music. I'm, I'm just eating there as a background, so I'm not asking. So for me, I will do that. But the one thing I will say about this is for the quality, and a lot of people have said the, the speakers in this are great. The speakers are good. I, I can't complain with the speakers as such, but good grief, they are basic. It shakes my desk. Mm. And I've got no way. I'm in this call with you guys now, or I'm on a Teams call, or I was listening to a podcast on YouTube just. I have no way of dropping that bottom end bass because that, to me, is what's making it muffled. I'll listen to music, and I'll stream it from the server, or I'll stream it from Spotify or whatever, but the application that I'm listening to music on, I can then go into the EQ and drop that bottom end and get rid of some of that bass to help me, but the applications that I can, it shakes my desk, genuinely. Yeah. Yeah, so I had that, a blast of some, um, some Smashing Pumpkins, and it was all a bit <laughs> woolly in the bottom end, and um, but definitely compared to that anyway. Um, on a positive, the unit, as I said in the unboxing, looks brilliant. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, it feels like you've got an extension of all your collaboration devices on my desk. Um, if there's some updates coming where some of these buttons might work and work better, we don't know what we want the rocket button to do, so let's not <laughs> moan about that. Shall we compare this to say I've got the Callisto Voxbox type unit? The 7200, yeah, and that is that is a very good comparison. So the 7200 is going end of life now, I believe. I'm sure I saw an email over the weekend that says it was. Pound for pound, they're almost a direct replacement. The 7200 was their top dog Callisto. Um, now for the Sync, so that's going to be a very good one. Okay, so I'm on my Sync 20. I'll keep talking while I change. And the Callisto is just beneath it there. Click the little button and we should be, have swapped over. Take two. I've really broke everything today. Let's put the Sync 20 against the Callisto 7200, right? Yes. As, as a microphone. Take two. Let's see if this works right now. There, change. 
This should now be the 7200 microphone. Yes, it is. I hope it is. Scratch it for me. Make sure you've not broke it. Yeah. Okay, so 7200. Yeah. So from my point of view, I'll let Amy say this, there is there is a little difference. I will say there is a little difference. I'll say the sync is marginally better. Uh, but only marginally. However, the 7200 and the sync 20 pound for pound, that's what they were going up against. The 7200, as I said, is going end of life. This is its replacement. It's just a newer, improved version. So would I expect it to be miles apart? Not really. Bear in mind what we're paying for these. I'm not spending a thousand pound on speakerphone. And you've but, got to take that into context. But the new unit, the sync 20, hasn't got a noise block. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. And no matter what, I can't seem to figure out why not. Noise block is it's kind of poly's piece resistance, isn't it? It's their, it's their number one. It's the feather in the cap, isn't it? But it's We've just been watching the guys talking about headsets and stuff, and they've been like, oh, yeah, if uh, David Dante was saying, if, you know, my, my family could vacuum the house and everything's fine. Well, mine can't. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing if I open that door, you'll hear everything. <laughs> Well, you switch back, and while you're doing that, I'll do a switch because what I want to show then is the difference between this Sync 20, which the personal speakerphone is like the top dog. I'm going to switch to another one. I've got a Callisto 5300, so a cheaper unit. Okay, and let's see what that gives us while you're switching back and breaking things. I'll do mine. So, I'm Sync back. 20. Sync 20, 20, and I'll hit save. And as I hit so I'm on this one. This is my 5300, so if I scratch that, that should be the 5300. Yeah, you've got way more reflective sound. Yeah. So there you go. You notice a, a, a massive difference. Now, I've heard these myself side by side. And for the uplifting cost, it is a no-brainer to go for the Sync 20 over the Callisto's. 100% it is. The, the, the look of the unit, the feel of the unit, and the quality of the unit, especially the microphones, is miles better. I'm going to switch back while you do that. Me words. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I should now be back on the Sync. What I've not done, um, because only I can hear it, and you yourself with a 7200, only you can hear it. If I switch the speakers as well, the speakers for voice, the speakers for speakerphone on your desk for doing what we're doing now, miles better. Uh, instantly, you can just hear that lift in speaker quality. It's a lot less uh, thin as the 5200 is. So I think for voice, for what we're doing now, hands down, the Sync 20 is the better unit. It's a brilliant unit for that. Okay, so our advice is definitely get one of these if your budget stretches to that. But when you do, unlike me in the unboxing, don't ignore the, the little bits of guidance and instructions here. Um, <laughs> you can just search Plantronics Hub, though, because it didn't tell me that in you. And when you get the hub, be patient with the software because it does help with the configuration. And I configured my headset and updated it as well. See, um, there you go. It's it's not just that now. You guys have all got your 8200s and your 6200s and whatever all these are. That software is good for everything. So it is worth yeah. having it, and it gives you the extra features. So it's so, a good unit, but with the updates to come, it's a better unit, right? I, I'd say so. Bear in mind, like I said at the start, this is version one of a brand new product family. It's not even a new version of the old. It is a brand new product. And for that... It's still that I'd say it's waited good. a long time for the Teams button and it doesn't really do much with Teams, though, does no. it? No. Um, <laughs> but this, as well as a family, has the bigger one, the 40 and the 60s coming, and some of the features in that as well, especially for centre of room. Yeah, to me, the idea is right. The product is right. It looks beautiful. It will only get better. But saying that, Yes, we've just had a little bit of a moan potentially about bass or whatever, or maybe it sounds muffled to me, but it doesn't to you. It's preference. As a product, I'd definitely give it two thumbs up. The, with the real estate on my desk, that fits better than this. 
Oh, yeah. So that's good too. Yeah, it looks better. I just think they, they need to do something better with the buttons or make it voice activated or something. There is that, isn't there? Uh, yes, actually, that's one of the rocket buttons. Thanks, Ames. Uh, one of the rocket buttons can activate uh, if you've got like Siri or Cortana or Google or whatever, if it's Bluetooth to your phone. You can actually use that button for that. Which so, kind of defeats the object of voice things? activated if you've got to press a button, but yeah. It's just right <laughs> you now. You can press your rocket I... button and say open Teams. <laughs> <laughs> and that's because I just struggle to see the point of the Teams button because you're pressing it to open Teams, but then to do anything in Teams, you've got to use your mouse. So it's like you may as well just use your mouse. So I'm just struggling to see the point of it. On, on no, to be fair, I have pressed my Teams button quite a lot. Oh, have you? Yeah, I have used it quite a lot. There you go, then. So, that's so like, there is room for it. I just think... Yeah, let's see what the kind of the next iterations of them become. Uh, because they're they're prevalent. I've got three big devices in front of me now, all of which have a Teams button on there, all of which do the same thing. But it's prevalent across the portfolio, which means it can only get better. It can only do more. Right? On that note, thanks for watching. See you on the next. Thank you, Jam. Cheers, guys.